All right, gang, so continuing with our electrotherapy, we are now going to move into NMES, neuromuscular electrical stimulation, also known as da -da -da -da, Russian. The purpose of doing this, there's multiple ways or, or reasons that you can use this, but in general, what we do and what I've used it for is for neuromuscular re-education. So after major surgeries, when they can't get stuff going, we tend to use Russian. Um, for this, we can also use it for edema if people have kind of like chron chronic edema. But I'm gonna be showing you right now is for the neuromuscular re-education part of it. Again, notice we have kind of the general setup, but we're going to go into customization. The very first thing that I need you guys to change is the time. If you ask somebody to do this for 20 minutes right out of the gate, they're gonna pass out and die. It's, it's not a very comfortable thing that you're gonna ask them to do, and they are not going to enjoy that at all. Meredith, again, is wearing the rectangle, so we're gonna change this to the two inch squares as we go through this. Um, we wanna keep it on single, because we're just gonna do a single, and we're still using this one lead, so this blue lead, so number one, and notice number one is right here as we do it. When we look at duty cycle time, we can leave it at 50. When we look at cycle time itself, we it's set to off, but we need to change it to on. So ramp, we usually want it between two and three seconds, so we'll leave it at two. On time, five seconds isn't very long. To start people with, I usually start at about 10 seconds, um, and then you can increase it beyond that. I've had it up to like 20 seconds before, but this is somebody who's really kind of far into their rehab. And off time, five seconds is not very much at all. So typically what we do is we think about these as being one minute cycles. They can be less than that, but frequently what I do is if it's a 10 second on time, then my off time is gonna be 50 seconds. Because again, you're really making the muscles contract. And when we do that, it's going to be um, painful. <laughs> Just let your patients know that this isn't something that they're going to be super um, fond of and want to do all the time. Uh, duty cycle, again, we don't change. For burst frequency, we can change that, and that really goes anywhere between 50 and 70, I believe. Yeah, pulses per second, yes. So we'll leave it around 65, but we can change it to 70. It doesn't matter. Like It depends upon your patient and their comfort and everything else. For this, we're gonna leave the anti-fatigue off, and then we start turning up the intensity. The intensity, what you should tell your patient is, it should be uncomfortable. It's not just a tingling. It actually is going to result in a real contraction. And as they're doing that kind of stuff, what you're going to see is, their muscle is actually going to contract underneath, I don't know if you can see me, underneath those pads. So it should be an uncomfortable thing. Like it is a major muscle contraction as they're going through this. So you should be able to see with your eyes the muscle contracting. And it's not that they're trying to make it contract. You are sending electrical stimulation through the muscle and you're causing it to contract. The other thing that you're gonna tell them is as they start feeling the electrical current come in, they need to try to squeeze that muscle with it. And then they're gonna squeeze it for the entire duration that the stem is on. And then as they feel it shut off, you want them to count for one to two seconds after that and hold it so that way they're trying to make sure that they're working on squeezing muscle without having any kind of stimulus go through it. And then what we can do over time is start having them do quad sets or straight leg raises or whatever while they're doing this as well. But in the beginning, they're not gonna have good enough control to do anything beyond just try to squeeze the muscle, especially right after like an ACL surgery or something like that. Um, when we come back to this with the intensity again, you just turn it up until they have a really good contraction. And I will show you that in just a second. All right, so now we have the Russian, also known as neuromuscular electrical stimulation, NMES, all set up. We have lead one with both of the pads. Typically after like an ACL surgery, the major muscle that we need to focus on is the VMO, which is why it's in the lower and kind of like the middle or upper edge where you can really access the VMO here. We're on lead one, still lead one, like how it was originally set up, but now I'm just gonna show you for the intensity purposes how we set it up. 
As I'm gonna turn this on, you're not gonna squeeze your muscle. We're just seeing how high you can tolerate. Again, this does not feel good, but it's gonna be a really strong contraction. You guys should be able to see with your eyes this contracting. And if you put your fingers here, you should be able to feel the muscle contracting underneath your fingers as you do this. Then, once we actually hit start, again, as it starts to squeeze, I want you to actively squeeze with it. And as you feel it kind of turning off, then I want you to still continue to squeeze your muscle for a two count after that. And then you get 48 seconds to just do nothing until okay. it comes back on again. And we will do this 10 total times today. Okay. Okay? Got it. All right. So here we go. We're going to start turning up the intensity. And we did this before, so I know like I can turn it up kind of into the low teens. But for new patients, don't crank it up quite as fast because you don't want to have them punch you. And also guys, your numbers, these are placed here and she's with the big pads. If I changed her pads to a different size or put them in a different location, the numbers could be completely different. So don't think that, oh, it's set like this every single time. It might not necessarily be. So tell me when you start feeling it. It's starting to tingle. Tingle, okay. Then tell me when you start feeling a contraction. And guys, you should be able to see with your eyes as it starts. There. Did everybody see that kind of come in? Sure. So it should start squeezing. That's contracting right now. Yep. Yep, right there. Got it? Okay, so <laughs> when she says that's enough, then you say okay, and we hit start and it's going to set up the treatment. As soon as it starts squeezing, okay, it's squeezing, go, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze with it, pull your foot up with it, so we're really getting max contraction. Notice how good this muscle is squeezing. And then as it ramps down, notice it's ramping down, she's still squeezing for two seconds, and then once it's down completely, she relaxes. And then 50 seconds later, it's gonna do the same thing. For these treatments, I highly recommend that you stay next to your patient and that you're encouraging them when they do this because this is not a fun treatment. They don't like it and they don't wanna squeeze. And so oftentimes I put my fingers here and I'm like, squeeze, you can do it, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then you continue to do that even once the pulse goes down and, and the electricity so that way you're kind of double checking and, and they're feeling you touching them as well. Sometimes that tactile sensation helps them continue with what they're doing. I won't make it so that way it keeps going. And when you're done, you hit stop and all the same kinds of things when we shut it off. So just clear this treatment because this is not something we're gonna do over and over. But if she was a patient that I was gonna set this up on frequently, then what I can do is save the protocol and then it would stay in here and I could just name it Meredith. And every time she came in, I could use this exact same treatment if I knew that I was gonna do it you know, multiple days or multiple times in a single day, which by the way, you can do this multiple times in a single day.